notes back in my garage, I think this is. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I think you're going to have a little bit of a uh, issue with my audio today. As I've set up a new audio um, interface, and I'm not sure I've got everything balanced correctly yet, but I had to record because I had to get it over with. So we're going to work on it over the next couple of days and get it worked out. But here we are. Um back in back in my garage. So we're gonna, we're going to Okay, so everybody got on my case about uh what do you want to call that? Um not having a clutch in there. There is a clutch in there. I I I didn't need to do it. You can see it. Like get the flywheel and there's a clutch in the press plate. I took the whole transmission off just to find out it was already there. So I'm not sure what people were seeing, but it's it's all there. Uh I just spent 20 minutes before I, before I started playing, checking it out. Now, the one thing I haven't checked is somebody said my fuel lines need to be checked because I didn't bolt them down, but I don't. I know they had to be bolted to the fuel pump. I'm not sure they had to be bolted anywhere else. There, There's my fuel line right there. So we're going to we're going to reinstall it and we're going to find out where it actually connects. Let's see. It goes around to the front to a mechanical fuel pump, which I believe is right there. And then I have to tighten that down. I'm gonna, that goes down. Now that, I think that was the fuel pump uh, fuel line uh, connection. <laughs> we're we're going to figure this out. Okay. We're going to go back down the line here. So let's just take a look underneath like a Wichita line man. All right. Let's see. Okay, so that's the fuel line there, right? This comes back all the way to the tank. I think we're good. I think that was just the one spot. Oh, did I not tighten this up? Oh, there we go. So everything is mounted, I think, for that. Now, I think, um, I think what we really need to do is get it, try to get it started. But we don't have... Uh, let me see. Okay, we don't have um, the radiator hooked up, and we're going to need a radiator. Now, I do have one uh, upper hose, but I'm going to need a lower hose. Right, so we're going to buy a radiator. Let's see here. All right, engine for the Chad. Oops, that's not the right one. Okay, Chad. Uh, we have, so we're going to need a lower hose, and we're going to need, oh, there's the radiator. We'll buy that, and we'll stick that in. See, I got to balance all my sound levels and stuff, and I noticed I'm peaking a little bit, so I do apologize. I wanted a new interface because um, what? What? Where'd it go? Where's my, where's my radiator? Because my old one was acting up when I was streaming. Oh, it's all here now. Um, and I really wanted to fix that problem. Uh, so I bought a new one, and Hopefully it'll be better, but I I, I need I need some time setting it up. I am very very particular about my audio settings, and this is uh, I did it again, didn't I? Yep, I just lost my wrench. Oh, there it is. I'm very particular about my audio settings for certain things, and this is one of those things that I need to be super anal about. Now sometimes I'm super anal on dates, but that's it. Um. Is that all that holds that? Oh, no, we got one down here. That's just a drain plug. I hate mechanical fans. They're terrible. Now, okay, let's get the uh, the hose here. We'll stick this in. I think this requires a screwdriver. Is this the lower or upper hose? Upper hose. Wait a minute. No, I can put it in with this. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Where's the... Oh, we, had to, we got the lower hose over here. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, mechanical fans, actually, I watched, there's a whole show called Engine Masters on YouTube. Uh, it's also on Motor Trend. It's the same guys that do Roadkill Garage, basically, Roadkill. Uh, and they did a whole bunch of tests of mechanical versus electrical fans. And, like, the draw, the parasitic draw on them is insane. Like, absolutely insane. I can't quite see if that's got a clamp on it or not. Let's assume no, because I see no clamp. <laughs> yes, but we definitely got to uh, dial our voice in here, because like I said, I can see it peaking a little bit. I do apologize 
for constantly changing equipment, but I'm always in the search of that perfect audio setup. So I'm going to be doing this a lot over the years if I do this for years. Okay, so we're going to need radiator fluid. We're going to need oil, uh, which we can go buy across the street. But, and we might even need a dipstick still. I'm not sure if the engine came with a dipstick, but we're going to buy coolant. We're going to buy a couple of oils. So, like, the audio may not be well balanced at this point, but... Uh, over the next couple of videos, it'll get pounded out. And I do, like, again, I apologize profusely. I'm always trying to up my game. Like, my quality, I'm always trying to up my quality. Let's see here. And since I had to, like, redo all my audio settings in OBS, OBS hates being messed with. Um, what did I just do? What did I... Did I take off the belt? Did I just remove the belt? I did remove the belt. Okay, how do we... Okay, here we go. Pick this up. Oh, wait a minute. You have to tip it, right? Yeah, that was it. It was. There we go. Okay, there. Right there. We're going to put the belt back on in a second. <laughs> because I'm stupid. But my whole goal is to get this thing running, regardless of audio issues today. Oh, uh, that's the plan anyway. Okay, get in there. I also cleaned up my garbage pit outside the window. Because <laughs> I felt like that needed to be done. Oh, it was, a, it was a whole process. Let me tell you. All right. Come on, baby. Are you, are you, are you, I think you're full, but I'm just going to use up all the coolant that's in here because I can just, just, just dump it all over the ground if I can, because it's just going to hang around the shop and be a problem. All right, here we go. You go here. All right. So I'm going to put the cap back on. All right. Cap on. All right. Now, where's the dipstick on this thing? I don't know where the dipstick is. Do I have to buy a dipstick? Is that, is that what's going on? Do I have to buy a dipstick? Where's the dipstick thing? I don't I don't know where it is. Um I thought they just came with the dipstick. Oh no. First of all, I'm going to put this back on or I'll forget. <laughs> this is definitely a thing. Okay, there. We got that back on. Okay, so there's the oil cap. That's easy enough to see because it's orange, but I don't want to... Is a dipstick a thing? Okay, is that is that a thing? Is that something I can buy? Exhaust. Head gasket. You know, my BMW doesn't even have a dipstick. So it's a little bit of a thing. Um, you have to use the sensor thing, which I'm not sure I trust, but let's pretend I do. Uh, now there is a turbo for this. I'm initially not going to put the turbo on because I want to do that for a whole different episode. But if anybody knows where the, I thought it was on the front of these end. There it is. There it is. It's right here. It's got oil in it. How does it have oil in it? Little weird dipstick, little weird. Okay, so we're gonna go grab that oil I got and we'll stick that in the engine. And then we gotta get gasoline in it somehow. And I think one of the pumps has moved. I don't know. <laughs> it appears to have moved. Didn't we buy oil? Oh, we did, here we go. So I'll go dump this in and see how that's going. Um, and then we'll figure it out from there. Let's see, okay, let's get up. We gotta just just get a good pour going on here. No miss. Okay, we're missing big time. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, there we are. Okay, big pour, big pour. There we go. This is this is like they should give you a uh, funnel or something. I don't know why there's no funnel, but all right, okay. Like normally, I just you know if it's my vehicle, I just tip it over and jam it in the hole and just let it sit there until it runs out. But uh, okay, let's check where's the dipstick again. There it is. Okay, what dipstick? Okay, we're, we're getting there. All right, let's go grab the other one and dump it in. Run. <laughs> Don't get stuck on the street, fool. All right, here we go. All right, here we are. We're going to grab this. We're going to take this and we're going to dump it in as well. That should give us enough oil at least to survive uh, an engine start. All right. Oh, yeah, we need brake fluid and whatnot too, I guess. Okay. I probably would have more oil if I didn't spill so much of it. 
Okay, there we go. Just pour that in there. And then brake fluid. And we should be good to go. I may have a brake fluid kicking around here. I don't know. Sometimes I bought extra stuff that I didn't use. So it could be kicking around here somewhere. Usually I keep most of my bottles under there. We'll go get... Oh, yeah, let's put the uh, oil cap back on. It's got to be full by now. Not full, but it's got to be at least good enough. Um, is it still down? Yeah, you know what? It'll be fine. Okay. We'll buy one more oil, and we'll buy the brake fluid, and we'll get those done. What are you? Oh, yeah, you're extras. So another oil and another brake fluid. Okay. So we're going to grab the oil first. We'll go, we'll go stick that in just to be on the safe side. Um, like I know my truck, which was a V8, took like four and a half liters of oil. And, you know, and I'm not sure what these older ones take. Some of the cars I've worked on myself personally can take like eight quarts, depending on what type of car they are or who made them. Ugh. Ford, for some reason nowadays, has giant oil pans, which is nice because, you know, oil stays cleaner longer when you got more of it. But, uh, and GM's doing the same thing. Okay, that, sh that should be fine. If that's not fine, I don't, I don't know what's fine. Okay, unless it's leaking out. Do I have a leak? I might have a leak. Maybe that's it. But I thought I got the oil pan and everything on there nice and nice and snug. All right, well, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Uh. I may have an oil leak. Maybe I forgot a a bolt or something, but usually it would leak slower than that. It just doesn't automatically all leak out. All right, we're going to get this engine started. We're going to need some of this brake fluid here. Because maybe we can get it started, then pull it back into the garage, but I don't have a seat, so I might want to put a seat in it as well. <laughs> just in case I can actually drive the dang thing. Okay. You can come off. All right, you can go over here for a second. Good boy. All right, put this here. And, uh... Oh, there it goes. It's filling up. It's filling up. There we go. Come on, baby. Perfect. All right. And we are good. Okay. So, we got to push it to the garage. Now, this may not start, but this is a quick video anyway. I want to get it out. I'm working on my stream settings. And I have limited time, so unfortunately, it means that sometimes these videos are going to be a bit shorter than others. Uh, so I can get ready for Jacksepticeye's Thankmas. What? What? Why is it sagging all to one side like this? Is, this? is it up on something? Oh, it's just up on this. There we go. Okay, we're going to push this across the street and fuel it up. All right, here we go. It has no parking brake, so it should be relatively easy to push. We just don't want to get hit by a car. All right, here we go. Come on. Okay, just over this way a little bit. And I think that, oh, okay, that might be a little far. Okay, we don't want to open that, so we're going to, can we set it up? Okay, you know, I'm going to set it right on the ground. I was going to say where I can see it, but apparently you can't see it when it's upside down. So there we go, okay. Grab this. You got to kind of shoot it in the hole. There we go. Let's just put let's just put enough gas in it to get her started. You know what? Screw it. We'll just fill up. We'll put like twenty dollars worth of gas in. Hopefully, this is actually filling it up. Normally, I put the gas cap on the trunk lid and send it flying into oblivion. But this time, I'm not stupid. I'm doing it the right way. So we're gonna do that and see how it goes. How much gas is that? That's thirteen. It's thirteen liters. That should be plenty to get her started. All right, let's put this back on. If it'll even start, I may have missed a wire or something. We don't know. But we're going to find out. Okay, then we don't have a seat, so we're not going to be driving it anywhere, I guess. But Oh, nice. It runs. Not great, but it runs. Oh, God, no. Stop moving the car. And the exhaust is coming out right underneath the car, which probably isn't helping anything. All right. Okay, come on, car. Back. So it does run. And that was the goal for this episode. 
A hundred percent. So let's put the air filter on it because I don't want it sucking in stuff it shouldn't. And uh, same rule applies to uh, anybody else in my life who I'm dating. Um, I'm going to put this here. Okay, whoa, whoa, stop, stop, stop. Nice, nice car, nice car. It's too close. So it's going to need an exhaust, obviously. Uh, but this can go back on it for now. Because it does run. Where's my wrench? Does this get bolted down? I think it does. Oh, no, it doesn't. Does it Does it not bolt down? What? What oh, does. Here we go. Okay. New air filter can go in it. And then... Oh, wait a minute. I may need a specific air filter for this. All right, let's check. I, I thought it was the same, but, you know, whatever. We can get a new one. Let's see. Air filter. Buy this. Here it is. It's the same air, air filter. Why, why would that not work? <laughs> is this a bigger one or something? All right, well, we got a spare air filter now. Bam. Okay, perfect. Put this on here like this, and then we'll tighten that down. Okay. Now, I think, in the essence of being able to drive it, I think... Oh, jeez. Um... I just, I pushed it a little too far to one side. I think all we're going to do is fire an exhaust on it uh, as best we can with whatever we can cobble together and then put a seat in it and we'll go uh, take it for a little spin. Hopefully. <laughs> we're going to see how that turns out. I plan on doing the turbo. I just wanted to get it up and running. I may leave the uh, rust on it. I haven't decided yet. I like the idea of it being kind of beat up and ugly and terrible. I like that. Like Bob, but faster. Okay, let's see. Let's go in here. What do we got for... Okay, here we go. For the Chad, we have an exhaust. We'll buy that. This has got to be dual pipes, right? Was that exhaust right or something? It's just exhaust. And then this is exhaust right. What the... What the? What is this all going to lad? Okay. This is just exhaust left. Exhaust right. What did I buy then? That's exhaust for a sedan. Okay, hang on a second here. Oh, there's, there's an exhaust. <laughs> so if this is an exhaust right, I think that's the one I need. I think this is something else. Let's just jack it in there and see what happens. There we go. Okay, so I'm assuming we're going to have to tighten it down at the manifolds. Uh, yeah, there's somebody in the comments are saying, why does he keep calling it headers? Because that's what they are. They're headers, tubular headers. Um, now, my, th my, my theory is is uh this person is not north american um because in whoa okay there we are in north america and a lot of the north americans in in america canada and all that well oh my god would you just open please thank you um will attest who's ever worked on a car is that generally you have an exhaust manifold, which comes from the factory, is usually like poured or something like that. It doesn't flow very well. And then you have uh, tubular headers, which are tubular and come off the header or come off the head. So now we need a driver's seat for this. So we're going to go find that. Um, let's see. Interior. Interior. Hello. Seat front right. Seat front left. Buy that. Okay. Whoa. Okay. This is easy. <laughs> All right, let's bring this here. Lower this car down. I'm not sure we need to put the doors on it to make it work. I think we can get away with not having the doors on it. And obviously it doesn't match, but I'm not worried about that right now. This is a project car and not all your stuff is going to work out perfectly every time. All right, let's put this here and here. And then these are much easier to access bolts than the old ones. All right. Now, let's see. You know, we don't have any parking brake or anything, but uh, let's see if we can uh, get a little motion in the ocean here. Okay, let's see. All 
right, let's pull this out. Okay, let's get in here. Let's uh, sit. Let's turn it on. Okay, that's first, and we're going reverse. Oh, Jesus. You know what I forgot? Pedals. I didn't put the pedals back in. <laughs> you can't drive without the pedals. Okay, here we go. Put these pedals back in. Okay, I saw the little thing. Where'd they go? Oh my god, I saw the check mark. Dude! Right, where'd you go now? Okay. <laughs> Dude, no! Oh my god. I can't, I don't know how to get these out. I, I don't know how to get these out. Excuse me. Okay, what, what, okay. How am I going to get you out of there? You know what? I'm buying new pedals. Screw this. <sighs> There's always something. All right, let's see. Pedals. I'm buying $42 worth of pedals I already own. Okay, here we go. I'm going to stick this in your butt. Okay, let's just get this. Let's get this in here. There we go. Okay, now I need my wrench. 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 Um, oh, wait a minute. There it is. Okay. Now we'll have pedals hooked up, <laughs> which should make this a bit easier to drive. Oh, the stupid. Okay. All right. Now that we have pedals, um, which are an essential to driving in most cars. Okay, I'm going to enter. I'm going to enter and sit in the car. I'm in the car. All right, and we're in reverse. Oh, nice. There we go. Okay, brakes work. Okay, nice. Whoa! Okay, this thing works a treat. Look at this thing. Oh, slow down, car. Okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's get her in reverse. Take her around the block. Oh, burnout. Big smoky burnout. Oh, oh no. I may have damaged it. Oh yeah, my other pedals fell out. Nice. But it works. All right, so this is going well. Let's see how much damage I did that front fender now that I've got to replace it already. <laughs> okay. Oh, damn. Okay, let's see. What do we do? Oh, yeah, look at this. Yeah, we, de we definitely put a ding in the in the fender. Um, that's fine, though. We'll fix that. Maybe I'll just leave it, you know. Um, this is a beautiful car. <laughs> I like this a lot, but I'm going to leave this episode here. I got it running. It moves. We had a little accident. It's got more power than you'd think. Actually, you know what? Before I go, don't I have... Okay, I got my little Bondo here. Okay, let's see if I can... Oh, yeah, we'll just Bondo the shit out of this. This is fine. Nobody has to know. Am I out of Bondo or am I out of spots to Bondo? There we go. So it's going to be an awful lot like Bondo Bob, unfortunately. But there we are. Okay, so this is this is good. This didn't get damaged. But that looks better. Um, any other spots need a little Bondo? Oh, we probably should uh, get rid of the rust before we try to Bondo. But yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here. See, we fixed our problems. Uh, but thank you so much for watching and tolerating my all over the place stuff lately as I get ready to stream for Thankmas, uh, which is coming up sometime in December. I'll start posting dates ahead of time so you know when I'm streaming if you want to watch. It's, it's to a good cause um, for uh, housing the homeless, which I... Uh, doing my regular job so i'm kind of partial to the subject but i'll post those on my community post or somewhere so you guys know what's going on but either way you know me love every view i get scapegoat sorry about the audio problems we'll get fixed out